Applications Manager for Xilog. And what I'd like to show you is what's inside of your Z-Motion Development Kit once you get it. So when you receive your kit, just slide off the cover, open it up, and you'll see a couple of disks inside. The first one is ZDS2 Development System and Documentation. So this is the IDE, the C compiler, and everything else. You can install that. Um, the version that's coming to the kit right now is 4.11. We'll be releasing version 5 very shortly, so I would encourage you to go to the web and download the latest version anyway. Um, the other disk that comes with it is the Zmotion sample code. And these are just various projects that are available that run on the Z with ZDS2 that you can load into your development board, and they're good examples of, of how the product works. Okay. Uh, next is some documentation. Um, don't throw this away, please keep it. But it tells you how to use the kit. It also shows you uh, what's inside of the kit that we'll go through in a second here as well, and how to install all the various pilot sensors and lenses the kit comes with. Okay. So opening it up further, we'll find uh, packaged is a series of lenses. These are all the current lenses that are available. We're constantly adding more lenses, so I would encourage you again to visit our website, see what's new, and if there's nothing, and, and if you're missing one of the lenses that we have to be offering now, um, ask for a sample. Next is the board. This is the Z-Motion Detection Board. It comes with the Pyrelectric sensor installed already. Um, this is the RE200B sensor that's on here right now. And very important though, you'll notice there's a mica wash, mica washer underneath the device. That prevents the pyrelectric sensor from shorting itself out against the sockets. Because this is socketed and there are other pyrelectric sensors available for this, for this product. And you can simply pull this out, put the other pyro in there and use a different one. And then this is the lens area here on the, on the board. So there's various lenses that fit, some that clip onto the device itself, some that clip onto the board, and some that use plastic housings and such uh, for, for the flat lenses and so on. Uh, additionally on the board, there's a serial port available, a uh, little prototype area, uh, power supply, and that's the status LED right there. So this is the LED that comes on for power, and this is the LED that comes on when there's motion detected. Okay, so we'll put that aside for now. And other things inside of the kit, these are the, these are the lens holders. Um, this particular one is for the Fresnel 0.9 AA lens. It's basically a flat lens. It's this one right here on the bottom. This is a circular lens. So these are the 0.77 Fresnel lenses, which are these two in the kit right here, this one and this one. They fit on top of that. We'll go through that later. The cover for each. Inside this box here, it's uh, taped. And if you open it up, you'll find a couple of a couple of additional pyrelectric sensors. So the RE200B is installed on the board, and the SDA I46 uh, and the um, SDA0254P are here as well. And these are all pyrelectric sensors that are available for the Z-Motion product family. Also comes with the ZDS2 debugger. This is RX Tools uh, debug system. This comes with a cable as well. Um, the, the board comes preloaded with code though, so you, to get this thing going in the first place, you don't have to do anything, just add power and it'll come up and run. Here's the power supply for it, with all the different types of uh, connectors for it. I'm going to put in the North American uh, connector right now. There's some additional hardware available here. So these are the screws and such that hold the lens holders onto the board, along with some extra micro washers in case you lose the ones that you come with it. And of course the serial cable. And that's everything that's in the kit.